Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and today I want to show you uh, a card I made with the Cottage Window Stamp Set. This stamp set is retiring on June 3rd, 2013, and so it's available in my online store until then, and I just love this set. I always liked scenes that I could change the seasons, and you absolutely can with this. You can do Christmas you can do fall and you can do spring and or summer with that and by putting different elements in our window. The tip I want to share with you is using the stamp -a jig and that's a stamp positioner because this is one of those stamp sets that if you don't put things where they belong they're going to look odd. Um, if I hadn't used the stamp -a jig for the spider and here it is on my imaging sheet. He could have been too low or too high. Too high, I would have had the line into my wood frame, and too low, well, that would just look very odd. <laughs> and uh, and so I want to add the pumpkins, because this is my fall scene. And if I don't get those just right, I could have either pumpkins down on the windowsill, not a good look, or floating pumpkins. And you know what? That's just a whole different Halloween scene, <laughs> having hollow, floating pumpkins. So I want to make sure my pumpkins aren't floating, so we're going to use the stamp -a jig And so what you do, you take your imaging sheet, and you put it up in the corner. And, you take, and I'm using basic black because I'm watercoloring this. Ink up my stamp with that imaging sheet in the corner, I'm going to stamp in the corner too. Okay? And uh, let me give you a little hint. It used to be that we could save imaging sheets once we stamped on them, but if you're using clear stamps, <laughs> if you take that stamp off and then put it back on, don't count on the imaging sheet being accurate because you may not have put it exactly, chances are really good you didn't put it exactly where it is. So just redo the imaging sheet each time. So now we bring the imaging sheet to our project and look, see we can see right through it and so we don't have floating pumpkins or too low, I place them right here where I want them on the windowsill, come back with the handle. And then I do a double check, shoving it up in there, okay, remove the imaging sheet, just get that out of your way all together. Re-ink your stamp, and then you're going to go right back in the corner, and you can't help but go right where you wanted. How about that? No floating pumpkins. <laughs> so here we are with the finished cottage window card with the watercoloring done. Didn't that just turn out so lovely? Uh, my pumpkin, he's in pumpkin pie and tangerine tango for some accents. Colored the window with chocolate chip, and, the, and that's the same as my base of my card and my Neutrals Designer Paper Series stack. <laughs> Easy for me to say, huh? <laughs> and, um, and so there we go. You know, with the stamp -a jig I was able to just stamp on there. Otherwise, I would have had to stamp them and cut them out, you know, to avoid the, the floating uh, pumpkins or the ones down too low. And the stamp -a jig just makes it so easy. Just love that. There are just times you, re you really need that. And, and we've got our tree branch with Old Olive and... Um, chocolate chip and more mustard and Cajun craze for our coloring and just a strip of the pumpkin pie cut with the fish tail to bring out that and so it's a very simple card but isn't that pretty oh and of course our little something something inside we had to have some more pumpkins <laughs> and so there we have a simple card and a quick tip on how to use the stamp of a jig I just I, I need my stamp of jig there are times where it just absolutely needs to be right and I couldn't settle for anything less and that's exactly how you do it and it's that simple so okay um, the cottage window stamp set is retiring. It will not be available after June 3rd, 2013. And the same with the neutral stack of paper. It's available to through June 3rd or while supplies last. If it runs out first, so whichever comes first, uh, but both of those are available in my online store. And this is one of the cards that are part of my 25 days of retiring Stamp Up Stamp Sets. I'm doing 25 days on my Stamping Smiles blog, so go check that out. I I'm in the middle of it, so I have a lot more to bring to you, but uh, there you go. So, okay, so go order the Cottage Window stamp set in my online store, and if you're not on my mailing list, go ahead and do that. I'll have a link under the screen. I'm Shelley Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.